today we are going to be painting magic effects on your miniatures. Um, I have chosen a classic Reaper miniature, Reaper Wizard, and I'm going to paint the wizard up. And then, once he's painted, um, we'll show you how to do the magic effect. As you can see, the miniature is coming along. Uh, when you're thinking of making magic effects, try to um, use dark colours uh, for your miniature because um, it will really bring out the, the light of the, of the magic. Um, um, you want to emphasise um, the, the colours from the magic to be more strong um, and bright and if you use a dark colour on the wizard or demon then it, it will really enhance the magic effect. So I'm going to um, use an ink wash on the wizard to make him even darker and um, then I'll come back. Now the miniature is ready to add the magic effect. Um, I've added a black ink wash uh, to make the miniature more darker to highlight the glowing effect of the magic. Now we need to um, give the magic effect um, a base coat. It already has one uh, primer coat of white uh, for the metal. Um, now I'm going to give it two coats of uh, skull white uh, from the old hex pots of, from Games Workshop um, and we'll come back once I've done that. I'm just using a character brush uh, for putting on the white paint. We're just gonna put two layers of white for the back, maybe three depending. You really need to get a very, very strong white for your base coat as it will really push the colours out um, when we go to the ne next stage. So I'll finish this coat and then I shall do a second coat and then we can move on to the next stage of the effect. The next stage is we use a wash. You can use any colour wash. You can have a yellow, green, blue. Um, it all depends on what type of magic effect you want. Um, I find the green works really well for magic. Um, you can buy the washes from all the major um, companies. Uh, there's no particular type. Um, so it's your own personal preference which ink you prefer. Um, I'm going to use a very old green wash. I'm trying to use them all up. So I'm going to use this one today. And um, all you do is um, cover your white, which you've painted now, um, with a green wash. I'm just using an old brush, old cheap brush. And um, what you do, you just take your ink and cover the white. Because the green ink goes into all the recesses, the white that you've painted actually starts to come through, which gives a fantastic effect. So once you've added your ink wash, just let that dry, and then we can come back to the next stage. simple as that. The next stage we shall be dry brushing. Um, 
I use Citadel Dry Brush paint and I have two colours, Niblet Green and Nurgling Green and we shall be using that to highlight highlight the flame and also to use um, lighting effects um, what we can do is on the miniature where the light will be reflecting so the top of the cloak here on the arm that will have a light source and also on the side of the hat so we can put a light dry brush down the side of the hat and the arm which will give the effect of the light source coming from the from the magic effect for this type of dry brushing I'm just using an old brush um, you can buy small dry brushes um, but I use my old brushes that um, are totally worn out and I can just use them to do the dry brushing with um, so what we're going to do first is we're using the darker of the two colours and we have a piece of tissue we're going to take off the excess and what we, what we shall do is we'll put a slight dry brush along the side of the hat and the top of the arm like so and that gives us the glow from the magic like so Once you've done the first dry brush with the darker colour, what we shall do now is we'll use the Niblet Green, which is a very strong, bright colour. We will take off the excess again on your tissue. This time we shall do the whole of the flame plus the highlighting of the same colour. So what we need to do now is a much lighter it's just to bring out the top of the the, the colour so it's two toned and again we shall put this around the flame now on the tops just slightly dry brush the whole area and it will all match in Now we're on to the last stage and all I all I do to bring out the colours and make it shiny is I put on a gloss varnish um, and that will make that'll just finish off the the flames and make it stand out more. So we just take a little drop of your varnish and like I told you before when you first put on your varnish it's very cloudy but once it dries it goes crystal clear so once again you take your cheap nasty paintbrush and apply the gloss 
nice and thick. Want it nice and shiny. And once that has dried, we'll come back and I'll show you the finished wizard. Now the varnish is dried, this is the finished wizard. You can use this effect for all your miniatures, for demons, monsters, wizards, necromancers, goblins, sorcerers. Um, you can use it for all the different colours, yellows, blues, oranges. Um, and it works very well. Again, another simple way to do magic, but works and it's very effective. A good way to show you the effects of magic is on the demon. Um, I use the same uh, technique as I've showed you on the wizard um, using um, dry brushing techniques on the skin um, to give a light source from the, the magic the magic ball or flame. Um, and it worked very well. 